At a Cape camp, members of the Coast Defence Corps get down to a short spell of intensive training. This is a part-time unit, but the men are going all out to learn their job and learn it thoroughly. Instruction is given on Bren and Vickers guns, and the troops make acquaintance with the army gas mask. Another feature of the training is bayonet drill. It's not as easy as it looks. Attending to the food question are women of the Sawas who have volunteered for this service. They cook the meals just the way that mother does, but on a slightly larger scale. And now for manoeuvres. Preparing to meet an imaginary invader, troops get sandbags ready and the whole seafront is strengthened against the enemy. We have seen pictures like these of Britain's coastal defenders, but the time has come now for us to look to our own shores. Events in the East have brought the war much closer to us, and a well-equipped, well-trained force is now necessary for the guarding of our coastline. It's a vast coastline, and it needs a vast army to defend it. The Coast Defence Corps is entrusted with an important part of home defence. The greater their strength, the surer the safety of our homeland. Thank <laughs> you.